Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Why would it be my father's dying wish to send me to the Borderlands? Your brother is king. Your father wanted you to have something of your own. That's honesty. Even in death, father wanted his sightless daughter as far away as possible. Welcome to The Veil, a first-person RPG audio game. Players experience the narrative through the main character, Alexandra, who is blind. And it's made accessible with the blind and partially sighted community in mind. All the navigation is based on audio cues. So there's not much to see on the screen besides game menus and a black background with floating dots. I met up with game creator David Evans in St. Catharines, Ontario to take me through the story and how to navigate it. It is about a, uh, a character, a princess, who um, is uh, stranded 500 miles away from her home and it's all about her journey back and discovering her own abilities. And the game itself uh, centers around noisy medieval combat, which uh, we feel works really well for an all audio experience. And there's also a lot of exploration aspects to the game as well. You looking for something, love? I'm looking for healing supplies. Well, you've come to the right place. I love gaming, so I decided to give it a try. The first thing to do, a tutorial on how to hunt boar. Center your target by pushing sideways on the left stick. Pull the right trigger to draw your bow and release to fire. I feel like I'm actually there. Well done. You hit it. There's a feeling of intimacy as you interact with other characters. Oh, and did I mention you have to fight hungry wolves? I'm cold and there's wolves after me. <laughs> to ensure the highest level of accessibility, David felt it was important to hear feedback from the community. He contacted the CNIB, who introduced him to Martin Criselis, an accessibility consultant and avid gamer. Martin played the game for David and was able to identify bugs. <laughs> you hear all the arrows going from left to right and center, and then you crash. He was also able to help connect David and his team with the community by setting up play tests. Eventually in the Veil, um, the combat will involve you being able to have different weapons, being able to cast magic spells and use abilities. There is a fairly big uh, gaming community within the, the, um, the blind community and there are a lot of titles out there already that are audio based. We wanted to make the, the, the storyline as, as compelling as possible. I think we pretty much accomplished that at this point. Basically, if you swing while they're just standing there, they're going to parry and counterattack you. Another person invited to give some feedback about the game was co-host of AMI's Kelly & Company, Ramya Mutha. Will I hear anything? Uh, Do you hear nothing? I hear people. Yeah, so there should be people, there's a blacksmith, um, there's a chicken. I thought it was really important for me to get involved with the game because uh, A, I'm representing the community, uh, but also the audio is great, uh, the effects are great. I definitely think people will have a lot to take away from this game. You may also recognize Ramya's voice in the game. What are you gawking at? What happened, Ainsley? None of your business. So I play Ainsley, she's an orphan. Um, it's part of one of the sequences of the games. Dave wanted representation from the community as part of the voice acting as well. So I was like, I'll do it, I'll do it. And um, he gave me what he called a pretty uh, important character in the game. Someone has your brother? I can't be talking about this. Ramya agrees with David that developers can make a game accessible with a little planning. But his biggest hope Hopefully there's an interest for more games like this. Hopefully the community picks it up and lo loves it. Uh, and hopefully I find a broader audience for the game as well. And now, here I am, on the approach to my new home on the outskirts of the kingdom. 